A cool 64 degrees outdoors there is. Mia St. John, 34 years of age, 131 pounds out of Los Angeles, California. Professional record of 22-0-1 with 12 knockouts. She's coming off a four-round draw against Imelda Arias in California. This is her first fight, not fighting under the banner of Top Rank Productions and Bob Aaron. She'll be taking on Rolanda Andrews from Atlanta, Georgia, the 32-year-old, 126 and three-quarter pounds, inspired by Sugar Ray Leonard to become a boxer, three and five with one knockout. She lost her last fight, a 10-rounder to Sandra Yard. What a cool evening in San Antonio. Unified rules will be used throughout the course of the evening. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. But it cannot be saved with the bell in any round. Accidental foul, they'll go to the scorecards after four rounds are complete. And remember, in women's boxing, the rounds are two minutes apiece. Ruben Carrion is our referee. As we get set for the start of our first bout of the evening. Three hours of action for you on a Friday night. Referee gets everything set, and we are ready to roll. Mia St. John and Andrews touch gloves. Andrews in the white top and the black trunks said that St. John is made up of false confidence. She has fought nobody. She's in for a treat tonight. One common opponent, Sherry Thompson. Mia St. John knocked her out in January of this year. Andrews won a six round decision against Thompson in April of 2000. Andrews is a southpaw. She can always present problems. And she's coming off a one year and three month layoff. Andrews blocks that combination from St. John's. Although Andrews has lost three of her last four fights, she has fought the better opposition. A loss in there to Melissa Salomon. Knocked out by Gina Nichols back in 1997. Mia St. John, of course, gained fame with her 1999 closing in Playboy magazine for the tiny sum of $100,000. St. John not taking advantage of a height, wanting to get close. Not use those long arms. Hey, did you find it curious that Bob Arum and Top Rank dropped her in a money dispute? That if anyone knows about promoting, that that's the group that brought you Butterbean. And they felt that they took it as far as it can go. Andrew's blocking a lot of these punches. Steps in with a straight left hand. Final seconds of the first of four rounds. Mia St. John and Rolanda Andrews here on Friday Night Fights. Well, as I mentioned, we're in San Antonio, Texas. And we have a lot of boxing for you, like Tony Ayala Jr. will take on Manuel Lopez. That's coming up in our next fight. And in our main event, we have the IBF title for you, the IBF Flyweight Championship. And Rene Pacheco defends his crown against Mike Trejo of Texas. Glad you could join us for Friday Night Fights. Bob Hoppo along with... Teddy Atlas, and Teddy, when you take a look at this main event, Pacheco is the guy who's been in against much better competition. He has the better seasoning, but he's coming off a spotty performance against Marco Pulo, and it's a one-year layoff. Does that give Trejo an advantage in this fight? He's going to need any advantage. You're looking for a reason for Trejo to be able to win this fight because he is not as strong. He is not as big as Pacheco. It comes down to Trejo having to fight a perfect fight. And if that is something that gives him a little bit of a chance to do that, hey, great for Trejo. Maybe he can use that to change belts here, to win a belt. But he can't make mistakes. The other guy can overcome mistakes. Trejo has the resolution to win the belt, but does he have the skills? We'll find out in our main event. Round number two underway with Mia St. John and Orlando Andrews. I'll tell you what, Teddy, Andrews is not at all intimidated by St. John. She's stepping in there with him. Take a look at the punch numbers from that first round. Andrews 13 of 34, St. John 10 of 65. I like the way Andrews moved around in that first round, Teddy. She blocked a lot from St. John. Great, let's go. 
She is. She's trying to use that ring, navigate a little bit, think on her feet, and find a way to score and not get scored upon. St. John, in a newspaper story, signed a deal with Louis de Cubas, who's promoting her. Come on. Go. Top rank did a good job of promoting her. They had media packets and pictures and everything else. And St. John got tagged stepping in. And she is hurt. Yes, she is. She, she is, is very hurt. hurt. As we said, Andrews has fought the better opposition. And it caught her reaching in there. Andrews moved in. Andrews moved out. And St. John is on shaky ground right now. And good plenty of time in. left. St. John has never been in this position, does not know what to do. No. Namely, grab and hold on. And the referee does the right thing and stops it. Yolanda Andrews told us yesterday that Mia St. John had never been in against good competition. And she was in for a rude awakening. And St. John looked like a pure amateur with a puffed up record. I was just about to mention that St. John came into this fight at 131 and three quarters pounds. The heaviest of her career. As it turned out, it was a fight that she needed to be prepared for better than ever before. 147 of round number two. And we're going to take a look at first how St. John went down. You talk, she was reaching in. She reaches in with the right hand, and that's the trouble when you're fighting a southpaw. She got caught with the right hand. Orthodox fighters are not used to seeing that punch come from that angle. Andrews gets her fourth win against five defeats, and Mia St. John suffers the first loss of her professional career. Andrews landed 14 of 34 punches in the second round. 13 were power connects. She landed 27 of 64 overall. 147 of round number two, Rolanda Andrews stops Mia St. John in our first bout of the evening. We'll check in with Brian and Max. Ricky Forrest.